Calyx mobile backhaul solutions, uh, I think, are definitely meeting uh, many of these very top demands. For example, we know small cells are proliferating out of necessity. Traffic is growing you know, dramatically. And uh, again, that competition is intensifying in terms of winning you know, those 5G service dollars. Oh, yeah. And to meet these change requirements, I think the networks quite simply have to always be on. Uh, they have to provide that unprecedented visibility and also quite simply deploy quickly. You know, we, we can't, you know, have these 12 month deployment cycles oh, from, yeah. you know, the past. And uh, so with that in mind, I think what Calyx is doing with this solutions is really meeting some of these key requirements, let alone uh, pain points. Uh, as we know, hundreds or thousands of smartphones depend on the connection to the base station. And this is where you know, the mobile backhauler, the mobile uh, providers use backhaul capabilities to ensure you know the overall service qualities. In fact, uh, now we know that mobile operators require real-time visibility into how the circuit is performing, and this also includes bandwidth on demand. And that also means that the circuit can never fail, quite simply. And as a result. What we're seeing is that the uh, service providers are planning to use uh, E5308 and the E5520 products by Calyx, along with their existing equipment to collect uh, Y1731 reports, and also use that in combination with Calyx's service verify uh, capabilities. Again, that full-time visibility. Uh, that also uses predictive analytics to alert them when they're you know, approaching all important service level agreement thresholds, as well as you know, ensuring the overall integrity of Calyx's mobile backhaul portfolio. And so with that in mind, uh, Todd, from your perspective, what else do you see from the Calyx mobile backhaul portfolio that is exemplary? Funny you should ask. Um, the <laughs> Calyx, Calyx has some products that are absolutely going to help in this area. The Calyx Axos E5 Ethernet Service Access Nodes they integrate carrier Ethernet 10G and 1G uni service demarcation and Ethernet aggregation capabilities to deliver premium service and backhaul, mobile backhaul services with operational efficiency and service assurance. These are doing the hard work and making it look easy. Designed for the demanding business services market, the E5500 and the E5300 products deliver more services to more subscribers, enabling the fastest time to revenue. And for service providers, this is exactly what they need and want. Um, for high-speed internet, for dedicated internet access, metro ethernet private lines, ethernet LAN, power over ethernet, precision timing, and more, whatever they need, these products will deliver it, which is just a huge thing for service providers. They're all looking for the competitive edge over the others. And so bringing in this kind of equipment is gonna help them. Whatever their customers call for, the Axos E5 business products can exceed their expectations. I, I really do think, Ron, these are going to help make a, a lot of improvements in the industry. I really do. I agree wholeheartedly again. And I think uh, what's also important to note that Calyx isn't resting on its laurels. Uh, for example, they recently worked with Allo Communications to sustain uh, to have a secure sustainability funding for uh, that all important uh, service provider uh, partner. So it's not just uh, only about, you know, ensuring the integrity of the overall 5G network, as well as the overall fiber network, but also fulfilling society wide uh, objectives, such as advancing sustainability goals, uh, improving uh, the energy efficiency, and thus, you know, helping the overall environment. So this is all coming together. This is something that, again, is having impact on all of us and not just quite simply, you know, what the service providers are requiring in order to even be uh, have uh, Calyx's technology considered in uh, the evaluation phases. 